Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Markdown in Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use and write with different markup tags in Jupyter Notebook. As you can see, there are 11 different markup tags I have put in one file. Now, as you can see, in this video, you can learn how you can write headings, you know, title, major headings, subheadings, and how you can write bold letters and bold sentence. Then how you can write a italic sentence, how you can make bullets, uh, and how, how you can, uh, you know, number list, how you can do the number list, how you can write mathematical symbol, everything I have put in one file so that, you know, how to insert image and how to change the color of it, how to put links, you know, to, to different external links and all. So, as you can see, I have put uh, almost 11 different marks of tags and you can easily, you know, write all these in a markdown in a Jupyter notebook. Okay, so let's get started. First one is headings. So as you can see, so you have to use um, hashtag, okay, and then followed by a blank space uh, for notebook titles and section headings. So first one hashtag will give you the title, uh, two hashtag will give you, you know, major headings and three is subheadings and fourth level is subheadings. So this is how you have to write headings in a markdown okay now move on to next one is uh, so if you run this you can see here you know this is this is title this is major heading this is sub headings and fourth level headings all right now move on to uh, how you can write bold letter okay so in a way you can write uh, you know uh, three different way all right so first one is you can use the code b i mean uh, less than sign and then B uh, letter B alphabet B and then greater than sign. So if you if, if you can see here, right? So I have used this code and then this is bold text. This is my sentence. So I I want to make this one this sentence um, as a bold. So what I did I used this code and then followed by a space and then I write um, the sentence. So if you run here you can see this sentence is getting bold now all right now the next one is your if you also can use a double asterisk at the start of the sentence and at the sentence all right In the same way you can also use double underscore at the start of the sentence at the end of the sentence so either way around um, you can use this code or you can use this or you, you can use it the same so anyway uh, you know to, to make a sentence bold, you can use either of them, all right? So if I run this, you can see this is also getting bold, this sentence is getting bold, and this sentence is getting bold, all right? So next is italic. So how you can um, write an italic sentence? So here, uh, there is two ways to do it. One is you can use a single asterisk at the start of the sentence and a, um, a single asterisk at the end of the sentence, or you can use a single underscore at the start of the sentence and a single underscore at the end of the sentence. In either round, it will, it will become italic. Now, if you see, I run this and you can see here this sentence and this sentence is now italic. All right. Now, move on to the next one, which is bullets. Bullets is like, you know, the circular bullet, which is the main bullet and then a sub bullet. All right. So, what you need to do, you can see here, uh, you, you have to use a, a dash sign and followed by a space or a asterisk or star followed by a space either around it will make a, a circular bullet and if you want to do a sub bullet you have to do the same thing but then in initially you have to use a tab okay which will create a uh, you know indented so in that way you have to create a circular bullet and sub bullet as you can see this is your circular bullet and this is your sub bullet i have used the same thing but here i have used a tab that's it and then if you run this you can see here okay jojory i'm going to share this uh, you know this this file this python file uh, at the end of this video in my description you can go and download it from there all right okay cool next one is a uh, numbered list how you can start numbering one two three four five so it's very simple you have to start 
you have to write number one and then uh, you know like this and then a space so that it will start at number one and then number two number three number four anyway if you want to start a sub line you have to give a tab in the start of the line then it will become a sub line like this so you have to write like this then so it will become a line and sub line all right cool the next one is mathematical symbol so for that what you need to do you have to use a dollar sign at the start of the mathematical symbol and a dollar sign at the end of the mathematical symbol if you can see here this is a mathematical symbol this is a mathematical symbol this is a mathematical symbol and you have to use a dollar sign at the start of it at the end of it so that uh, you can use a mathematical symbol like that all right if you can see here this is how you have to write it okay so the next one is indented coating indented coating is basically kind of you know you are creating a paragraph okay so basically what you need to do you have to use the sign greater than sign and then a space that will make a this is greater than a sign then a space that will that, that will make a block quotes okay so and then here i have used br because I, I i just want to break the line so i so this is line breaker i'm going to uh, tell you about this one in in point number eight so this is how but here you can understand this is how you have to create a indented quoting all right or block quotes so next move to line breaks how to break a line so you have to use the code um so you have to use the code br uh, i mean less than sign then br then greater than sign so so this is a sentence okay this is a sentence and i want to break this line or sentence from here so i use this one so if i run this if you can, if you can see this line has been break from here all right so next one is image how to uh, insert an image into a jupyter notebook markdown so what you need to do you need to simple you know drag and drop the image so that image if you can see that image i just drag from my desktop and put it here and that this code has been created and if i run it i can see the image here so you just you just need to drag and drop this image to here and you can see but uh, remember this line has to be marked down or else the image you cannot see it okay so basically you have to drag and drop an image into a markdown cell all right cool the, the next one is your color so how to change the color of a sentence if, if you if you want a blue color sentence or red color sentence or yellow or green anything so what you need to do you have to write a code like this less than font color um, equal to then you have to put blue or red or green or pink whichever you want and then you have to end up with a greater than sign then you have to write the text or your line whichever you wanted to and then you have to put a less than a slash then font and greater than this is this is the uh, code that you have to use okay the only thing is that you have to change here the color like here as, as, I, as i can you know did here so you can see here so less than font the color though i i want the this sentence this is my sentence okay front color is blue this is my sentence now i want to change this sentence um the color should be blue so i use this code and i run it so this sentence color will be blue now similarly here i want this sentence color has to be red so here i have changed you know blue to red everything else is same now here i want this sentence is yellow let's say example and here i have changed this color to yellow now this color will be blue this color will, this sentence will be blue this sentence will be red and this sentence will be yellow now if i run this you can see here right blue red and yellow color sentence has been created all right now the next and the last one is links how to uh, you know create an external link let's say uh, you know you want to open google and you want to give that link here right so what you have to do you have to just write the you know link text what is the name of the you know link text you need to write it like here i have put click here to google that that you can see so then the moment you click on here this this is the you know hyper link uh, or the external link that you, that you want to open so then you have to put this link so the moment you click on it will go and open here if you if you want to check i just you know so here this is the external link now let me click on that the moment i click on that it will go and open here google here all right 
cool so this is how i have created these videos for you guys and i think this is really really helpful to you when you really want to work in markdown in jupyter notebook thank you so much for watching these videos and i'm going to share this python file in description you can go and download it and you can easily you know uh, solve all your problem okay thank you so much for watching these videos don't forget to uh, like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel i will definitely come with a new video with some informative things okay thank you so much and thanks a lot